Hi, welcome to Actual Scale Modeling. In my next Star Trek series, I'm going to be doing the AMT kit for Star Trek Refit. Um, scale, what's that? 1537. Um, it's a basic kit. Um, probably in mind for both the beginner and the advanced, I would say. Um, I've already opened up a, a for it. So debating whether I should light it up. There's not much to light up, so I don't know whether I will or not. I probably will. All depends on the def deflector dish. If I can get that to glow. Um, I don't want to replace it, you know. So I'm hoping I can create a bit of light blade uh, to make it have a diffuse glow like that. So we'll see. Um, so as I say, I've already opened the kit. Um, I am going to be doing this in the refit. Uh, I've ordered another one to do it for the A as well. Send kit, but it can be either for the refit or the A. The difference is um, when the original Enterprise got refitted, it was the A, um, and then destroyed, and then they made the built the A. It was basically the same ship apart from um, differences in the inside. Rooms were bigger, more technology, and so forth. So in the box, uh, the cells, I've already taken myself to have a look, the main body, and of course the saucer section, so put that there, and the neck. This kit also comes with uh, a little shuttlecraft, which again I'm debating whether I'll do or not. Or not. And we have the uh, the decal sheet. Now, all the base. Very few clear parts here. This is one of the reasons why I'm debating whether to light it up. Um, I will have to cut out the windows because they're all solid here, and then put in um, new windows. I don't have any clear part so I'm gonna to have to build up the windows with this so clear. Okay, I've got the neck. Oh and the instructions. So as you can see the instructions are very basic. You know I, I suppose out of this kit you're gonna get whatever you put into it. Yeah. You know, I'm not disappointed I won't want to. Um, the main attraction to this is the Aztec detail. Now, I've, no one knows what the Aztec real detail is. <coughs> it's basically the paddling on the ship. All the different little paddles that make up the ship. Just whip my camera a little bit. Now, all the different paddles that make up the ship. Um, to, to give the illusion of scale and depth. The models of the original show decided to put to paint these panels a little difference in color variations and tones, um, and it was dubbed the Aztec detailing because it looked like the Incas in the Aztec uh, world. You know when they they built back in whenever it was. Now, what's interesting about this is it's the first one I came across. I haven't built many of these to be fair. Um, not sure you'll see it, but I'll point it out anyway. On each part of the kit, they do actually have the panels um, inscribed into the plastic to help you be the plastic decaling, uh, detailing. Now you can put decals on. You can buy them. You can make your own. You know, or you can just hand paint these little boxes, these little squares. Now, I love hand painting, so I don't know whether I should attempt it or not. It might be a nightmare if I tried. Or, if I do it, I may just make my own decals and go through that process, but I don't know. I'll see. So, that's it for now. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these. Uh, primed and ready. I'm going to rattle can, spray the inside black and then the outside white. 
and that'll be my base colours on. And the reason why it's black, just in case I do decide to light it up, and it, it will be um, stopping any light bleed apart from this. I won't touch the inside of this because I'm going to experiment with that first of all to see if I can get a good glow on it. And if I can, then I will start cutting up panel windows and whatever. Well, that's that. I'll get on to it now. Right, so we'll start on me to get the build. First of all, I'd just like to apologise for the sound quality. I had a problem with uh, the computer now, so I'm doing a voiceover at the moment. So what I've done here is I've blacked out the, the body um, for light blocking because I've decided to light it. And I'm taking off the deflector dish to test the um, the glow and see whether I can get the glow done or not. So um, I'm just cleaning up the, the little bars that are on the deflector dish here. I'm using sandpaper, sand mistakes and whatnot. I'm sure everyone's got that sort of stuff. If not, you can buy it. But any retailers really are modeling shops. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint here. This is my first test painting. Now, I had a hell of a time with this. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just uh, painting the edges um, on a light blue colour that I made up. Um, I made this up with Humbro 191 chrome silver and uh, a blue to give it a light shiny blue effect. So I'm going to be carrying on with this. Onto the next part now, I'm cutting away the the windows off the spray for the saucer section. I've already prepared the saucer section so it's um, blackened out for, for the to stop the light bleed I should say. Um, I've also put the base coat on the front section, uh, the, the part that you see here, so the saucer section. That's um, just a, a bit of primer and, and natural white. Then after that what I'll be doing is hand painting the soft section and the other parts on, on the sprue now. I use um, an old brush for this, it's, um, it's like a stipple brush but it's just a normal brush, it's had some hardened paint on that I haven't cleaned probably over time. And I use little um, circles to um, put the paint on and that's to stop brush strokes from appearing. So I put very light coats on, hardly any brush paint on the brush, and just generally a swirl of windows on. What you see here is me cleaning the contact points of the um, build. This is just to make a better bond when you're putting it together. If you leave the paint on the contact points, depending on how strong your cement is, it will eat through it, but I can leave a nasty gunk that you don't really want. So it's better just to clean them off and you just take a, a sharp knife, this uh, Swan Blade 11A, and um, you just draw it along and scrape off the paint. And that's what I'm doing there. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but you, you get the general deal. So you can see the soft section already painted there. Um, the next part you'll see is me applying the paint by hand. So we get onto the painting now, and um, as you can see, what I was saying before, it's just very light strokes. I'm starting to swirl the paint brush around, and as uh, that eliminates all the um, brush strokes that you were trying to get with um, hand painting. But I can't stress enough: you must do this with very thin coats, or it will look patchy and horrible. And uh, the paint I'm using on that is a uh, Revell, I think it's number five, for the, just the, the white mat.
Right, that's the paint dried. I never noticed there's some uh, just little burrs on the soft section where I put the windows in. So I'm just uh, sanding them down with um, a rough sanding file there. I then go down the gradient on the sanding paper just to get it nice and flush. Why this happened, it, it was probably me done, I just didn't notice. So as you can see, I'm just taking it down slowly and making it all nice and flat. Then I'll repaint it. Now we're running a small problem here. Um, I didn't get the windows flush on some of them. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to fill in some little gaps that I noticed from bad fit quality and of course my mistakes as well. Most of my mistakes to be fair to the game. So I'm using a Villagio liquid poly filler and I, I use cocktail stick and to apply that. Just gently put it on then take any excess off. So that's the filling all sand and done on both sections of the saucer. So I'm just repainting now. Um, as you can see, it's the same process as last time. That'll be it for this part of the build. I try to keep this under 15 minutes. The next part will be up soon. And I think that we'll be dealing with the lights on that section. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build uh, so far. I, I really enjoyed building the kit. So look out for part two coming up very soon. And I'll see you all there. Bye bye.